Hi Taurus and Happy New Year. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022 and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And as always, it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can book a personal reading if you'd like to get more specific or you can watch one of your other signs. So for the overall energy for the first half of January for you, we have communication and we have action. Okay, so very, very positive cards here. Um, it could be that you will be communicating, all right, with a person that you're dealing with. There is some action that is being taken other, either by you or by them which could actually come as a result of this communication if you have not been in communication, or it could be just talking about certain actions that you or they want to take. So let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First couple of weeks of January, what is going on here between you and another person? Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so Taurus. Let's see what we have here. So for the main situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Two of Wands. Yeah, it definitely feels like there has been some kind of a truth that wants to come out, um, some kind of um, a verbal expression based on truth or just something really, really honest that somebody wants to discuss here, but there has been a lot of procrastination. Let's see, for your recent past, we have the Page of Swords. Currently, we have the King of Wands. In the near future, we have the Two of Swords. I do see this communication happening here, all right? Um, it could be something, if this is you, it could be something that's just really been on your mind, but you were not really sure how to go about um, initiating this conversation or talking about it or what exactly to say. And for some of you, this could even be about, you know, calling somebody out on something. And again, it could go the other way around. I do feel like um, <clears throat> there was a lot of thinking about this in the recent past, or maybe there has already been some communication for some of you. Um, at the moment, I feel like you, you're feeling very powerful. You're feeling like you're in control, but it does look like there's a little bit of it's not coming in exactly as confusion in the near future. It's more of, okay, not being sure still which way you want to go. But we'll see more when we clarify. For them, we have the Two of Cups in the recent past, the Four of Cups for the current energy, and the Nine of Cups in the near future. Potential outcome here, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so... Really interesting because I feel like this is a person who who was feeling a lot of love for you or had a lot of emotions for you. So definitely feels like this has been a pretty a pretty strong connection for most of you. At least this person was really feeling the feelings for you. At the moment, there's some kind of a disappointment on their end. It could be that you have actually cut this person off and that could be something about that communication, it could be that that's what this communication was or is about. But it feels like um, if it was you calling somebody out on something or expressing something that you want, I, I, it all, it's almost coming in like you, you may have said it, but it wasn't like coming from a place of, of self-assuredness, like it wasn't very, very firm. Whereas now, you're more firm about whatever it is that has already been said, or this could be something that is coming up, okay, depending. And because this person is feeling that now, it, it, it's just appearing like you are just more certain of what it is that you're saying or doing. This person is feeling that sense of disappointment. So what I see for them coming up here, though, with this Nine of Cups is them actually still wanting this, still trying to make this work, still having this as a wish, possibly trying to get you back. And this could be why you're in this Two of Swords energy, because you're not really sure if you want to take them back or if you 
like how you want to um, progress with this. All right, so and for the um, potential outcome here, at least for January or for this time period, it's the Six of Swords, which does talk about a movement away, leaving something in the past. So that could even be the action <clears throat> that this is referring to. So let's actually clarify. Let's see, let's see this Queen of Swords with the Two of Wands. Alright, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Four of Swords, and we got one more here, the Eight of Swords. So yeah, this is exactly what it feels like. It feels like there was something that you had wanted to say or some action that you had wanted to take. It mostly feels like it was mostly wanting to express something that you wanted to do. And it does kind of feel like this whole thing is leading to you possibly walking away from this or maybe already having pulled back a little bit. So I feel like this is what this is about. Um, and it feels like it's something that you really, really want to do, but it's it's coming in as you having planted those seeds, you haven't taken some steps, but then possibly not going full out because then there's a little bit of passiveness, which then ultimately kind of keeps you stuck in the same situation. However, that's okay because I do still see you taking these steps in the direction that you want to go in. It, it just feels like there's a little bit of hesitation here and there. And it's all a matter of you just, you know, being really firm, being very um, clear. That's the, that's the whole issue here is being very clear in what you want and then being willing to really go through with what it is that you are trying to do here. Let's see that page of swords in the recent past for you. We have the high priestess. So yeah, it's it's like, you know, I feel like, again, it, it's like you were saying certain things, but not going full out, like maybe holding back some of the information because maybe quite honestly, like you weren't really sure. Maybe this was, you know, if this person was doing something that was, um, bothering you or you're just intuitively feeling like you don't really want to be there but there might still be something that's holding you there or maybe there was a little bit of hope or something which was kind of keeping you back let's see this two of cups for them in the recent past <clears throat> the magician yeah so this person i feel like you know they kept trying to manifest this with you but maybe there was just something here I mean, obviously there's something here that was unsettling to you is what I'm getting. Maybe this person was a little bit manipulative. Maybe they were a little bit controlling, trying to have things their way, but regardless, they still wanted this connection. Whereas you were feeling a little bit differently. And for some of you, I mean, it could just be that you were feeling differently because because of a certain behavior, not necessarily that you didn't want this, okay? It's really going to depend. Let's see that King of Wands for your current energy. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so these are beautiful energies here, but they're together with the Five of Wands. Um, it's like you're conflicted. I feel like you're you're feeling like, you know, this situation or the interaction with this person is creating a lot of conflict for you. And I feel like it, it it's almost like you just you feel like you can't get your point across to this person. That's how it's feeling like to you that you know, even though you've tried and you try to explain certain things or show them certain things or try to get them to understand certain things. I feel like it just ends up with you feeling more conflicted about the situation. I definitely feel like, you know, there are feelings here, but you're having a hard time seeing how this can actually work out and how you can actually have that Ten of Cups, that happiness with this person. And so I see you being a little bit more certain about 
whatever it is that you were telling them. So, for example, it could be that, you know, you have some kind of a condition or some kind of a boundary or something that you are asking for and you're just more set on that. You're more firm about what it is that you want and that feeling like you can accomplish this goal. And when I say feeling like you can accomplish this goal, I mean like, you know, that if this person is not willing to compromise with you, then you're feeling like you can accomplish the goal of either walking away or taking some kind of an action. Let's see this four of cups for them. All right, we have the full, give me one sec. And the page of pentacles. Yeah, it feels like this person might be um, a little bit immature. It, again, it's almost like, you know, you, you have tried. You're giving them this cup. It's like you're trying to explain something to them. You're trying to offer them. It's almost like, you know, you, you want them to save the situation. You want them to be able to cooperate or compromise with you or understand. But it's like they're just not, they're not getting it. I feel like this person might be a little bit acting a little bit impulsive and just not able to give you much in return. I feel like they want to. They definitely want to, but <clears throat> for whatever reason, they're not. So, <clears throat> at least currently. So let's see the Two of Swords. just coming up for you okay so we have the three of cups and the ten of pentacles yeah it definitely feels like this person is trying to bring things back to a happier state trying to have some kind of a reconciliation with you this person might even try to just make things feel like very light-hearted and like you know everything is fine um, but again, you're undecided as to whether you want that or not. I feel like you, you're still going to kind of be thinking about it. Even though you appear to be more certain at the moment, you might come to this point where you're thinking about it again, but still not 100% sure whether you feel like, you know, this can be a long-term potential here. See the nine of cups for them. The page of swords and the knight of swords. Yeah, they're gonna try. This is why you're kind of going back to considering it because see, like you have that page of swords in the in their recent past, they have it coming up. So it's like now once you you're in this energy of you know what, I'm done, I'm moving away from this, I'm taking some action, and I'm more sure of um you know, not accepting this kind of interaction with you. Now this person all of a sudden is in that Page of Swords energy wanting to talk to you. And we also have the Knight of Swords. So this is a lot of action towards trying to really keep this connection alive, basically. So yeah, I do see them opening up to communication. But for you, it's just going to feel like what? Like now? Why did we have to go through all of this? Why did I have to get to this point in order for you to now all of a sudden want to be honest and talk? So let's see the Six of Swords. <clears throat> Temperance and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so regardless of um, what the outcome is here specifically for each of you, because it is going to be different for all of you, it does look like you are moving away from conflict regardless. I don't see it being an easy task, but I do see you being able to find that balance in order to be able to move away from conflict, whether it is with this person or 
without this person, okay? Because that's going to be um, a personal decision for each of you. But either way, you are leaving conflict in the past. Now, for those of you that are deciding to give this person another chance, okay, that's going to be just um, a portion of you. It is going to be a little bit challenging, all right, with this Nine of Wands. It's not going to be that easy, and it is something that's going to take a little bit of work and time in order for things to really um, come into that balance. So do keep that in mind, but but it is possible, all right? We do have that temperance here. We do have the Six of Swords. And for those of you who are deciding to just take that action and move away, again, you know, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but again, you do have temperance here, which is all about balance and healing. So it's a good outcome regardless. All right, so... Taurus, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the super moon. Emotions are running high. So yeah, and I can see why. They're definitely running high for this person. Um, I can see why they would be running high for you as well, not really knowing exactly how to deal with the situation, which way to go, because this person is just coming back in, trying to reel you back in. So yeah, just follow your intuition and, you know, most of all, remember to try to stay as balanced as, as is possible. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.